Hello, my name is Albert Einstein, and I will be telling you a little bit about my life today. First of all, I was born on March 14, 1879, to the Jewish couple of Hermann and Pauline Koch Einstein in the small city of Ulm in southern Germany. Then I was born. I had a very large cranium. My Raja even thought that I was a deformed child. <laughs> As a child, I preferred to play by myself. In fact, my closest friend was my little sister Maya, who is only two years younger than me. <laughs> when I was five, my life got started as a thinker. For my father showed me a compass which fascinated me so much because the red needle inside of it only pointed in one direction, north. <laughs> years later, after not much happening, in 1903, during my college years, I married the only female student in my college class. Her name was Maleva Malik, who later had my two children named Hans Albert Einstein, born in 1904, and Edward Einstein, born in 1910. Oh, sorry, my mustache is growing. <laughs> my grandma's <laughs> buried. During 1916, I published a paper on the general theory of relativity, which is just an event version of the special theory of relativity, which not only applies to space and time, but gravity as well. In 1919, my wife, my lover, divorced me because I was too caught up in my work and moved to Switzerland with Hans and Edward. That same year, I married my cousin, strange as it seems, who was a widow named Elsa Lauenthal. In 1936, so Elsa passed away. And in 1948, my beloved sister Maya died as well. As a Jew in Germany, life was very hot. As I was saying, as a Jew in Germany, life was very hot. <laughs> Hitler made it his objective to make my life as miserable as possible. In fact, I had had enough one day, packed my bags, and moved to America by taking an offer to move to Princeton, New Jersey. <laughs> In 1939, during World War II, I learned that uh, Nazi scientists basing their uh, research strongly on my energy equals mass times the speed of light squared formula, obtained the key to a bomb that could unleash unfathomable destruction. I had to think very quickly, so I sent a request to FDR, Franklin Delano Roosevelt, um, requesting that he form an American uh, an American program to defend against Germany if they ever dropped that specific bomb on America. I myself that on April 18, 1955, at the age of 76, in a Princeton hospital due to a ruptured aortic aneurysm. Even today, People are finding new uses and devices from and out of my theories and formulas. Thank you and may you have a great rest of your day. Also, you may be wondering, if he died, how can he be telling you? <laughs> That's just one of the many questions of life. <laughs> dun, dun, dun.